Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong here in Ruskin, Florida, and we're going to do a review of a very unique watercraft. It's the, called the Roundabout Watercraft. It's, uh, as you can see, it's perfectly round, and it's, uh, the benefit of this is just it's super stable. It's a, a one-man watercraft, as you can see, just it has a, a chair right in the middle. Uh, they, they oftentimes come with a troll motor, and that's the, the primary way to do it. But the, again, the big benefit is that it is amazingly stable, and you can also take it wherever you need to go. It's uh, uh, we can put it in the back of a pickup truck and they also come with the trailer but uh, as you can see I just literally stepped on it without worry about falling in this is probably more stable than my than my skiff to be honest because um, I can literally get on this very far edge put all my weight on and it is not even close to falling over so as far as stability and just ease of use uh, this it's very impressive it, it does exactly what they what they claim on their website. As far as just the layout and the convenience of it, again, it's, it just has everything you need in a nice compact section. Control motor is accessible. Um, it's set to go forward this way. You can see there's a little bit of a V-hole. Uh, they do have some, uh, some tracking lanes on the bottom so that once you are going straight, it does track uh, very good for, um, for the, the shape of it. Um, and as far as storage, and again, there's just a ton of ton of storage in here. You can put your life jackets up front, uh, then have just a variety of other sections. Another life jacket there. Even cooler, they have uh, stuff to probably put like a wallet or phone, keys in here, be nice and dry. Um, in the very back is the uh, bin for the, for the uh, battery. And again, just everything, just very accessible. Um, as far as maintenance and, and that, um, just super, super easy and convenient. And obviously, you know, the tie downs, for tying off the docks here. Uh, fourth, fourth one, have an anchor uh, set up in this one. And uh, just as far as, again, just, just everything you need, uh, even built in, I got some, some cup holders down here, uh, rod holders, which are these little holes. Just, again, just nice, convenient, uh, no, no frills, just, just what you need to get out there and have fun in a safe way too, because uh, the, the bad thing about kayaks is just they're, they're uh, just tippy, like if you're not used to being on the water, especially if you like to stand up fish like I do, um, it, can, it can be you know can be risky, risky move to stand up. And this literally, as I said before, you could stand up, and it is just about as stable as my boat. So uh, so far uh, impressed as far as fishability. Uh, we're going to go out and give it a whirl. Uh, we have a nice little mangrove line over here. We have an hour, so uh, I brought a couple of rods, and we're just going to go. Uh, go give it a, a shot and just and just see how fishable it is. All right, so we're out here. We're, we're crossing to do some fishing, and uh, we came across a boat that, that we knew here, and uh, we had to make some wake for us to see uh, see just how good this does. And as you can see, literally no worries at all. Super stable. Uh, I can't imagine being anywhere where this thing would flip over. Again, it's just perfectly round. As soon as it gets over the crest, it just dies right back down, and it was no risk at all to fall over. If I was in a kayak, uh, that would have been a little bit more dicey. Um, but again, it's just a solid boat. Looks like we have them coming over again. <laughs> I'll do this one standing up. So even standing up, it's, uh, again, just very stable, and I would never try to do that in a, in a kayak, especially with all my, my gear and uh, expensive microphone in my pocket. So as uh, far as stability, a big check for this one. All right, so the other question I had, uh, obviously stability was one. The other question was just how does it track? And this is a round, a round craft. Um, my thought was it would just kind of just do helicopter, especially with the motor on the back. I was very questionable of that. But uh, I'm just going forward now, and it is really going directly straight. I've been impressed uh, as far as just, just how it tracks. It's going straight. I don't have to be constantly checking the troll motor. Uh, just, again, just have it going in one direction, not even touching it, and, uh, and tracking nice. So I'm curious. To actually, I've never seen the actual bottom. I've just heard about the the uh, the rivets on the bottom. So uh, definitely, whatever's down there is working great. All right. So again, it tracks well. And obviously, for a circular boat, if you do need to turn around for whatever reason, I mean, there's uh, nothing that turns easier than uh, than this. Just turn the motor to the side, and it'll literally spin directly around, ready to go straight again. Just plop it, plop it straight. It'll won't do it automatically, but you kind of have to just stop the spin and then it'll shoot off straight again. All right, so now you can see the front. I got in a pretty fast mode here. This front does have a V. That's part of the reason why it tracks. Um, again, just uh, definitely definitely scoots around pretty, uh, pretty quickly. 
Yeah, one other thing too is uh, I, I did hear that some people actually mount a motor on here and put the troll motor on the front. Uh, that's possible as well. Um, so if you're going long distances, that might be the, the way, right way to do it. But as far as short distances, you don't even need to mess with the motor. Uh, with the boat this light and, and it just any kind of troll motor doesn't need to be a fancy one, I'm sure it'll have a ton of range. You don't really need uh, a big motor on there. But if you are going long distances, then, then possibly. But uh, if I were going to get one, I would say just, just no motor and just, just do keep it simple and, uh, and get out there and catch fish. All right, what I'm used to, I'm always used to the troll motor at the front um, and just going forward. So uh, the, the cool thing with this is you can actually do that as well. You just go basically go in reverse. Um, so I'm going to cover this, this little bank here and just going to take it this way about how I'm used to, used to having a troll motor. And uh, again, you can just kind of go either direction, which is uh, kind of nice. Just another thing I wanted to test out is just how much hole slap there is. Obviously, if you're in, in some sort of boat that, uh, that when there's a little bit of chop, it's making noise, it's only going to scare the fish away. And uh, this has been just super quiet. And, and uh, it, the only time I've, I've had any kind of noise is when I'm going forward, pushing into the wind. But, uh, but when just drifting with the wind, all that's happening is those waves are hitting the vertical wall. So there's really no slap at all. There's really nothing for it to slap up onto. So uh, as far as just the actual quietness, it is, uh, it is actually a very quiet uh, uh, thing to fish out of. So, so definitely check those there as well. All right, so just see how fast it goes. Uh, we'll just go ahead and crank it up. And this is with a uh, troll motor that has 55 pounds of, uh, of thrust on a, just a 12 volt battery. We just got one, one battery in there. See, it actually moves, uh, moves pretty good. And as far as how long it lasts, if you were, I was kind of wondering how, you know, how long you could actually, like, how, what's your range? And it really all depends on the type of, on the type of battery you have and also the troll motor. Um, I believe they, uh, they work with Minn Kota, but you could obviously put whatever kind of troll motor you want on there. And as far as battery, you can get whatever type of battery. Uh, clearly, the, the nicer battery you, you get, the longer you can be out and the, the further distance you can travel. But, uh, but just with this rig right here, it's, uh, you know, we've, we haven't covered that much ground. We just did one little mangrove line. We don't really have that much time out here, but um, so far, so good at least. It's definitely, definitely will get the job done as far as, you know, getting you to uh, a shorter range area in comfort where you don't have to, uh, you know, just worry about falling in. It's very stable. You have room to store whatever you want. I could obviously fit a cooler on here if I needed to. Um, I have heard that some of the people use these bins for, uh, for live wells. Uh, you can just put a bilge pump in there and pump water through and just put in a, you know, an, an outtake as well. So um, a lot of things you can do with it. And uh, again, just for just an efficient way to get out on the water, this is uh, you know, definitely, definitely a good option. All right, so as far as, uh, as, far as how this tracks, uh, this is something that I was very curious about. This is, again, a very round shape. Uh, track surprisingly well, and this is the reason why. We have these, uh, these three just lines running out. They come out maybe two and a half, three inches, uh, going straight down the, straight down the boat. Uh, really just allows for the, uh, this thing just to go in a straight line uh, when needed. And, uh, and I was wondering what these, these holes are. It's actually uh, for stability inside the, uh, the hatches. So you can put a ton of weight in those hatches. I mentioned before, some people actually make live wells out of it. So you can have a lot of water sitting in those hatches. You don't have to worry about the, uh, the boat getting damaged or those hatches uh, not, not holding their strength. So uh, here it is, and uh, if you wonder what this is, this is just a, a pin that goes all the way through. It's a drain in case water does get in. Uh, as you remember, the, uh, on the inside there's a ridge all the way around it. So in case a huge wave comes and, it, and water comes into it, you don't have to bail it out. It'll just self-drain straight through the middle. Yeah, one way to transport, obviously, is to use a dolly like this. Um, obviously, most people don't, don't have those. And so the other way, the fact that this is a round boat is to uh, just stand it up on its side and, uh, and just actually physically roll it. And uh, so we're going to do a quick, uh, quick demo here. Um, again, just stand it vertically, which if you, you can actually leave it alone and it'll stand straight up. And then if you have to go from a truck to uh, you know, a waterway nearby, you literally can just roll it. Um, it, goes, it goes over the, the hump. You saw the, the very front of the boat just went through the circle. So again, it's pretty, pretty nice where, although it is, I think it's about 100 pounds uh, as far as the overall weight, one person can, uh, can move it without a trailer or a dolly. All right, so as far as loading, if you, you, know, if you didn't want to get the trailer, you can just load it up into the back of the truck. Uh, we'll just show you here. The, basically, the premise is just to get it standing up. Um, facing the bed, obviously the bed being down, 
just tilt it over till it till it touches the bed and uh, and then you can just lift it straight on up there and it'll it'll slide right on in pretty slick pretty slick so there it is uh, and obviously from there you just tie it down yeah so then once it's here as far as getting it out it's just the actual just the exact opposite where you can just just pull it off and then just roll it back to whatever waterway you're going to fish so here's the uh, just a look at the trailer that that comes with these it's optional of course but uh but they do they do make a trailer custom for these boats is that uh, you can see right here this is just where the what's supporting the the boat and it, it's set where that's perfectly uh just right next to the straight here which is what keeps the boat going going flat so close to that one, also this one's just right here on the far end. So as you're trailering, you're not gonna have to worry too much about the, uh, the boat just going all over the place. It's, it's really just set in stone. I would still put a uh, safety latch over the top just in case. But, uh, but again, just a nice, efficient uh, little setup. All right, we just finished up. We, uh, we had just a fun, uh, fun time here. We got out and tested out these, uh, these roundabout boats. They turn out to be just really efficient and effective. Uh, one-man fishing vessels. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised with how it handled. Again, stability, extremely stable for, for a one-man uh, fishing vessel compared to kayaks, paddle boards. It is just way more stable given the, the design. Um, the, the whole slap was very, very minimal. Um, so very, it's just quiet even on a, on a choppy day. Um, you're not going to be spooking a ton of fish. I'll say the, as far as cons, I, I would say the number one would just be the, the, the on-land transportation. As you saw, you know, one person can wheel it on the ground, just, just roll it, and uh, it does actually work surprisingly good. But as far as getting it into the bed of a truck, it's a little bit over 100 pounds, so it is fairly heavy. But you can see one person can do it. And the other good news is that all of that can really be extinguished if you just got the trailer. So if, if lifting it is a, is a concern, they, they do offer the trailer. And with that, you can actually just slide right up, slide right off, and that, that problem is con uh, completely extinguished. Um, other con would just be the uh, the distance one can travel. Um, it, we're saying that with one battery they can go up to seven miles, which is a long ways. I know a lot of kayakers do like to go, I uh, like to go longer, but that's uh, that's really a full day trip. So uh, depending on your battery, of course, you could really just go and fish pretty hard all day long and not have to worry about running out of juice. But uh, again, that's all battery dependent. If uh, you're going to be staying out for a really long time, a lot of days, obviously get a nicer battery. Um, but for most people who just fish for two to five hours, uh, just one battery and the single troll motor is plenty of juice to get out, uh, get out, have some fun, and come back in a nice, safe manner. So for more information, you can leave a comment down below. I'll answer all that I possibly can. But uh, for more details, I would recommend just going to roundaboutwatercrafts.com. You can uh, send them an email or just call directly. Uh, they will be happy to answer any questions you have. And if you are in the Tampa area, this is, uh, this is in Ruskin, Florida, just a little bit south of Tampa, uh, give them a call and, and just let, hey, say, hey, I want to drop on by and, uh, and check them out. They have a, a really cool facility right here on the water, super convenient. Uh, most of the time they have these just ready to go. So come down, check them out, and, uh, and again, I believe you'll be surprised with how just stable and efficient this can be for fishing. Uh, again, any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet a line today